Today I review the 777 Jackpot West Coast Sax Soprano Mouthpiece. In my hand, I am holding the West Coast Sax Size 7 777 Series Soprano Saxophone Mouthpiece. Now, my workings with West Coast Sax start off with my journey to find a new mouthpiece for the alto saxophone. See, for whatever reason, I have a sick fascination with the uh, Blue Jumbo Java, and that came as a discovery to me where I was like, I don't really want a dark sound on saxophone anymore. I'm 32 years old, I went to college for music, I minored in jazz studies, and everybody was always telling me, you gotta get this, the, the smooth jazz out of your playing, you gotta sound like Coltrane, you gotta sound like Charlie Parker, you gotta sound like Cannibal Adderley, you gotta sound like Sonny Stitt and I carry that wherever I go, and there is by no means any disrespect to those musicians. If I didn't study those musicians, I wouldn't sound like what I sounded today. However, when I first started getting into saxophone playing, I wanted to sound like Gerald Albright, David Sanborn, Michael Brecker, who is not really smooth jazz, but more in that fusion category. Those were the guys that really got me started to have an interest in saxophone, being from where my upbringing was. It was from that standpoint where I developed the initial interest in saxophone where I said, it's time to start diving into the real 50s and 60s saxophone players, that bebop, that hard bop era, even the 40s swing and, and Duke Ellington jazz. If it wasn't for that initial interest of that real bright, poppy stylings, I don't know if I would be a saxophone player. And I owe a lot of that to the old uh, New York City radio station, CD 101.9. Now that I've had this revelation that I do want to sound pretty bright when I'm playing the saxophone, for me it's more appealing to the way my ears carry, it's the sound that I identify most with, and that's what I'm going for, that nice poppy in your face sound. I also really like the splitting of the altissimo notes, especially the high F sharp, the high G, the high A. That is like my favorite sound on the saxophone, other than Leo P's famous low A glissando. Here's the box opening of what Matt Lee sent me, the creator of West Coast Sax. So I got a package today from West Coast Sax in Las Vegas, I believe that's how you say it, Las, Las Vegas. And uh, I did open it, but I did want to do an unboxing because I think this is gonna be really cool. Should probably get the scene away from this disgusting uh, toaster oven. So, oh, this is so much better, look at this, nice. Okay, and he gave me, check that out, with that flat brim, my favorite type of hat. Uh, I'm now part of the MoFo squad. Thank you, Matt. I really appreciate that. That was a very, very kind of you. And then we've got... What's that? Yeah, that's pretty good. So we've got... Oh, I can already tell like, the packaging is like... So cool. Hold on, let me guess. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, West Coast Sax. What a freaking cool package that is. I'm gonna open it up. Freaking a magical fairy dust pouch. Which I know what's in here because it literally is the sound of fairy dust in one's ear canal. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. My 777, he gave me a serial? Series, okay. That's, oh, that is so sick. Look at that bite plate. And he put an extra pouch on it, which I really dig these pouches too. Matt Lee did a, uh, a refacing of a Blue Jumbo Java A55 that I'm doing, and I still have the same patch on. These things last forever. So, I can't wait to start playing this. Let's see what happens. Right, as you can see, I'm now a part of the MoFo squad. The MoFo is another type of mouthpiece that Matt Lee creates. Now, I do want to take a little bit of time to talk about what my dealings with Matt Lee were like. 
I mentioned before that I have an obsession with the blue jumbo java Van Doren saxophone mouthpiece, and I found one from a friend of mine, Mr. Donnie Mac, shout out to Donnie Mac, who had this mouthpiece refaced and cleaned up by Matt Lee. And that's something that Matt Lee told me that he doesn't really do too often. It's kind of a very special occasion that he will reface a mouthpiece. But it is a service that he does offer. And believe it or not, I plan on sending a lot more mouthpieces to him his way so that way he can reface them. I know that he does a very, very good job. Um, my dealings with Matt have been super personal and super, like, the best customer service that I have ever experienced with anybody ever. He's always available to take your call. He loves joking around, he likes having a good time, and he will spend numerous amounts of time on the phone with you, going over the different things that he's working on, the different people that he's worked with. Lots of different saxophone players have endorsed these mouthpieces. Here's a list, for example. Anyways, let's get to a nice, thorough saxophone review of what this mouthpiece sounds like. I will be using a Lavaz Medium. It's kind of an older reed that I've had around for a while, but I do feel like the Lavaz Medium works very, very well with this mouthpiece. I'll also be using a, a standard metal ligature with it as well, as I didn't really have uh, a nice Rovner or high-end ligature to work with, but I do think the metal ligature works just fine on this. Here we go. <laughs> So, in my personal experience, this is a very responsive mouthpiece. I would definitely classify it as more on the brighter end of the spectrum, maybe more like a medium bright. It is definitely not the brightest mouthpiece that I have ever heard on a soprano saxophone before, but it's definitely up there. It's not the brightest, but it's definitely like a medium bright. I know when I talked to Matt Lee, he did try and model this after the soprano Duke off mouthpieces. Um, and he took a lot of the similar traits from it, but he definitely did his own variation on it, making it sound like his own mouthpiece. That having been said, everything is so responsive on this mouthpiece. I feel like it's playing super in tune all around. The fact that I bought this online and didn't even get to try it first, I always think that that should be kind of like a, uh, a last resort, really, because... I've been burnt online from people who have tried to uh, sell me mouthpieces before. Um, I, you know, a lot of times I buy something on Facebook Marketplace and it's not what I originally anticipated. You know, Not that it's a bad mouthpiece. And trust me, I've bought some bad mouthpieces online before that were brand new hand-faced mouthpieces. I'm not naming names. But if it wasn't for the fact that Matt Lee has been extraordinarily personal and you know, was interested in starting a rapport, and he goes the extra mile to sell his mouthpieces, I think this is a, a no-brainer. Also, pretty cool that he allows up to five days of you trying this mouthpiece, and you can get a full money-back guarantee. Or you can swap it out. You can try different facings. I got the 7 on this mouthpiece, and the 7 is at a .065, but he also has it in an 8 that's about a .070. I think that there is very low risk. Matt is a very, very good player. If you can hear any of his videos on his Facebook, you can hear that this guy puts a lot of thought, 
a lot of care and a lot of time in the mouthpieces that he is making. You can hear it in his playing, and I think he plays all of his own mouthpieces. If you could please be so kind to like this video, because I'm at 135 subscribers, and I thank you from the bottom, <coughs> excuse me, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart that I've gotten this far in such a short amount of time. And I know this stuff takes time, but please hit the subscribe button as well. Your like, your comment, and your subscribe goes a long way. And I'd love to get over a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And that's just going to encourage me to keep doing videos like this. And I want to help the community. I want to help the saxophone community so much. There's so much that I, I have so many ideas, but it's hard to focus them sometimes. So your comments really do help. That having been said, I do think that this is probably the end game of soprano saxophone mouthpieces. This is the sound that I have always been going for, and I didn't even know it. I knew I wanted something that was in the brightish area, and I really do think that Matt Lee hit this one on the head. I am so pleased. I am not returning this thing. I, even with just the standard equipment, using just a bare metal ligature on this mouthpiece, it is being super responsive, and I couldn't be happier. I'm putting a link in the description to go to West Coast Sax, and don't forget to sign up for his mailing list because you can get that 10% promo code. You can save an automatic $50 on this mouthpiece right off the bat, which is a good savings. You can get this mouthpiece in both a gold and a silver plating. Thank you so much for tuning into this web series. I'm Mikey Vitale, and this has been another episode of IRSS. Woo!